Army of the Dead is one of my anticipated movies of the year because my favorite director of all time has directed this movie, Zack Snyder. Also, Zack Snyder directed Zack Snyder's Justice League, and he's back on Netflix. Oh, yeah! Army of the Dead is a new movie directed by Zack Snyder. It's the second movie he directed this year. The first movie being Zack Snyder's Justice League. His last zombie movie was Dawn of the Dead. He directed in 2004. Army of the Dead. After a zombie outbreak in Las Vegas, a group of missionaries led by Dave Bautista's character venture into the heart of the quarantine zone to pull off the greatest heist the world has ever seen. Yes, this is a zombie. It's in the zombie genre. I have to point that out. But one of the things I like about this movie that Zack Snyder revolutionized the zombie genre. This movie had everything you want in a zombie movie. You've seen zombie movies before, right? You know that zombies are slow. They're mindless creatures. They're walking. <sighs> They're walking slow, and you can easily kill them, like if you, like watching The Walking Dead. They're walking all slow, you can shoot them in the head, and they're dead. But these zombies in this movie are fast. Like, like 28 days later, you, you've seen zombies in that movie, or, you know, or uh, other zombie movies where zombies are fast. But also, there are zombie tigers. So, Zack Snyder built this awesome world of zombies, so therefore, these zombies got, like, factions and ranks. Also, they have zombies that can, control, that can talk to other zombies and coordinate with one another and come up with strategy plans and ideas because zombies have intelligence and that and also one thing about this movie yes that really shocked my mind is that zombies can clap butt cheeks zombies having emotions and clapping butt cheeks because one zombie was pregnant zombies clapping butt cheeks that is not normal that is not normal zack snyder was not normal in this movie he is a cinematic genius Amari Hartwig was in this movie as well. He did a good job with his character and dropping the jokes. One of my favorite characters in this movie has to be the guy who plays the hacker. And he was really funny. I I absolutely enjoyed his character. I feel like I feel like he was the funniest character to me. And Dave Bautista. Dave Bautista is the main character in this movie, and I thought Dave Bautista showed hella rank. He he showed the acting chops. He showed he has the range. He showed that he can really act. And he did a wonderful job, especially on the emotional beats, which which I got to talk about and go on a deeper level. Like, the way this movie was directed, you know, if you've seen a lot of Zack Snyder movies, Zack Snyder is a great visual director. But one of my complaints with Zack Snyder is he's not really good on presenting certain story plot points. But in this movie right here, he did a a decent job of improving on some of the plot elements and plot points in this movie. And I also love the cinematography, the visuals. There wasn't a lot of slow-mo that you usually see from other Zack Snyder film movies. He kind of toned it down it, but you still see the slow-mo. But I gotta talk about the intro. The intro of this movie is probably one of my favorite intros of all time. It was perfect. It gave you character development through visuals. He's really known for doing that and giving you the scale, the scope of the movie. This bus, thus in that first three minutes of that intro, it's really remarkable directing right there. Stakes are high in this movie. These are not your regular zombie movie where you have characters walking in the room and just mindlessly shooting things. They had to strategize, come up with different plans because these zombies are... You're basically into. They basically entered into the world. These mercenaries entered into abyss. This new world, like Kingdom Come of zombies. Like the scale, the scope, the stakes were much higher. Like there are certain characters that are friends with one another, but these mercenaries that are teaming up for one another are not friends, and you can really understand that. They all have a specific motive, so they tend to not trust each other, and and that makes the stakes higher because you don't even know because you don't even know what character might betray a, a character. But yes, this movie was particularly almost perfect in my eyes. I couldn't really think of a particular flaw that I really had to point out, but there were a nitpick. So my primarily issue with this movie is the movie is two hours and 32 minutes long. It was way too long. It should have been like maybe like an hour and 54 minutes. Uh, that is a small nitpick. The second nitpick is... Zack Snyder does, you know, he's good of bringing emotion, but then he did a little bit too much of the emotion, like an overabundance of it, where 
it where I feel like one there's one scene in this movie where I feel like there was an overabundance of emotion, but not to the point where it's for character development, but the shock, but for shock value and bait. I didn't really feel anything emotionally that I should have. I don't know if Zack Snyder was was purposely trying to make me feel for the character or was he trying to pull me in to bait me? It's, I don't know, but I had a little frustration with that specific scene. For another nitpick I had to point out was the, the bullets and ammunition. It's like I was watching Delta Force with, with Chuck Norris. We know when Chuck Norris fires his bullets, he has unlimited ammunition. But other than that, this movie is perfect in my eyes. Almost perfect. The, one, of my, my, one of my favorite films of the year. It has everything you want from a zombie movie. He, he took all of the cliche tropes and revolutionized it to something exclusively different. And I absolutely love it. So I have to give Army of the Dead a Batman fantastic. You can check this movie out on Netflix this weekend or check it out in theaters and see it there. I saw this movie in theaters, so it was a great experience to return. But yes, that's my review of Army of the Dead. Have you seen Army of the Dead? Comment below. Let's talk about it. And I'll see you guys in my next review. And if you like everything you see and you agree, subscribe to my channel and join me and the Batman family. I have more Batman-tastic reviews in the way. You have been warned. Till then, ciao.